In this module, I'll be demonstrating um, how to uh, get your blueprints uh, as far as printing them, view them on screen, and uh, emailing them to yourself. So go ahead and log in. Now that we're logged in here, we'll uh, open us up, create us a new project. Shop drawing demo project. Okay, we'll go ahead and create us this project. Now that we got this project created, we will um, add an elevation to it. Choose us a framing type. We'll choose the uh, 451. Set the width of the elevation to 36 feet, 9 inches, and we will set the height of this elevation to 12 feet. We'll set a bait count of um, 5, don't let it get too cluttered there. Now, um, whenever your uh, blueprints are uh, displayed, these notes, if you're adding a note, a drafting note to this elevation, you'll notice that it will be in, in this area. Your company name or your person information will be right here, forever elevation. The elevation information that you've chosen, that the name, would be like shot drawings, elevations, uh, the dimensions of this elevation, the framing type, the glazing type, and uh, earlier in the first uh, dialogue where I created the project, all of that information will be on every elevation as well. Okay. Forgot our first. Um, shop drawing demonstration elevation going on here so let's see what it looks like right now we'll choose drawings so as of right now we have all of our elevation information on the far left hand side to the bottom of the um, shop drawing we have the shop drawing project information the name the street the city the zip the phone number for that location where that project uh, whoever is going to be the main contact for this project and uh, the email for this project. That's not necessarily your information but this project information is right here. Now your information is right here. This is your company and this is your company information and then the drafting notes that we added on there. The shot drawing elevation notes. We can go back and update that um, Shop drawing elevation notes. Okay. You notice that we don't have any update buttons. All of that's happening in real time. We will look at our drawings again, and then it's updated that quickly. It does that for the project um, information and. Um, this elevation any any changes that are made are, are immediate so let's do something interesting here let's add a door to this elevation 
put a single door in bay one and um, we'll go ahead and define that door that door at this point is just a placeholder since we haven't chosen what type of framing system we want for that door so let's just choose a quick framing system here there we go and then we'll choose our leaf it's a medium style door there with a nine inch bottom rail there we go we've got that let's add a little note to this door Now, there's elevations, uh, shop drawings for your elevations that have the doors. It will be included in the shop drawings as you will see uh, in the next, um, when I click on the drawings again and it uh, builds the uh, shop drawings. But also there's a door schedule. So your door schedule will have the door information more broke down as far as the door note, the size, and all that other great stuff. So it doesn't get too cluttered on the shop drawing so we have the shop drawing and then you have the door schedule so let's see what that looks like let's choose the drawings and you see now we have our door there and it's conveniently broken all this up for you it's got the um, daylight information here for the side lights it's got the um, the door the total door width there of course and uh, it's not necessarily the door opening, that's the door width. And then um, you do have this bay daylight, so it's from here to here. And from here to here you'll notice that the um, pattern is the same all the way across. But let's go ahead and look at the door schedule. If we press door schedule and scroll down on our blueprint viewer, you'll notice the door is broken down um, fairly uh, about as far as you can bring it as far as having the sight line the sight line for this framing system was that 451 so it's that two inch sight line uh, the style that we chose for that medium style door is a four inch style it's got that three and nine sixteenths inch top rail to it and then we chose that 10 inch bottom rail it also has the daylight information for the relief has the daylight information for the frame itself where the leaf goes into and then we have the 86 inches that 86 inches is from the floor finished floor to the top of the frame and then we have the two inch header and at the top at the top all this information is repeated again if you also notice here on the door schedule it has the project that this door goes into the elevation that this door belongs to the bay, bay one, door one. This door swings out. It's a right hand door. The style is a medium. It does have a threshold. And here's our drafting note that we put on there. This is a door uh, note to demo that notes are added to the door schedules. Okay. Let's do something a little more interesting here and add some bulkheads. Put us a bulkhead at um, the top of the seal would be 36 inches so we'll set the bottom of the bulkhead the bulkheads are measured from the finished floor to the bottom of the bulkhead so we'll just do that add this one and number six there number five one more at number five okay there we go of course all your bulkheads can have notes too as well they won't be visible on the shop drawings but they'll be visible on the cut sheets and uh, parts list okay we'll see our drawing again there we go our drawings get a little more interesting we've got our door there of course and now we've got this bulkhead we set it at 34 inches but the top of it is 36 inches and it also gives you the daylight information 
that's 106 inches from the top of that bottom seal plate to the bottom of the um, uh, header for the um, bay. All right, so we've got that. Now let's add us a um, couple of horizontals in there. Let it get a little more interesting. We'll put us a vertical on there. We'll split that window up. That seems to be a popular thing to do for a lot of different projects. We've got our vertical in there. So let's go over here and configure a vertical. Here's our vertical right there. We'll choose that one. Let's go ahead and move that vertical on over. I'm not finished with the um, the dialogues and this sizing for the verticals j just yet, but this is uh, demos for demonstrating uh, the functionality and uh, the blueprints. Okay, so now let's look at our drawings again since we got that vertical. So now we've got this really interesting shot drawing thing going on here with our bricks. Here's our daylight information in here for the um, the verticals, uh, and it also has the uh, the daylight information width and the daylight information height. So let's add a um, horizontal here to bay two. Right around 86 inches, it should be somewhere around the top of that even with that door. There we go, it sure is. And um, let's see what that looks like. Now we've got the daylight information um, between each um, horizontal and the uh, starting from the floor up we've got our bulkhead and then we've got the daylight here. Now if you notice over here I've added this one horizontal. Now this is the door information in the header is not included in the shop this particular view of the shop drawings that information is in the door schedule down here but you'll notice this extra little um, line height uh, situation from the floor is 86 inches and it has a 2 inch SL that's for 2 inch sight line that would go all the way across to this one right here make it a little more interesting. I'm sure we wouldn't do this, but show that it can be done. We'll split that those two horizontals up and put a horizontal, put a vertical there. Put us a vertical there. Move those over. There we go. Looks about even. I don't have my calculator here in front of me. I don't know. All right, I'll just get that other vertical and that horizontal at the top. That's horizontal two in bay two, so that's right. And this is vertical one in horizontal two in bay two. So we've drilled right down to it. Let's even them up there. Okay. That little dialog box there is to remind me I need to do something. Okay, um, let's look at our drawings now. Now it's really getting interesting. We've got um, the daylight as expected for the horizontal daylight and the vertical daylight. So it's just about every type of measurement there that you could possibly need um, for um, uh, fabricating a storefront. Uh, based on these shop drawings, something else you might want to take into consideration is is how is how little of work that you've done to produce a you know complex set of drawings. But this is a standard set of drawings that's typical that typically used in any glazing um, environment or company. So. It's another thing to think about is that your employees that you get to uh, work with, the storefront builder here at AluminumCloud.com, um, they don't have to be as trained or knowledgeable in CAD to produce the same complex drawings 
that is produced by other programs that are extremely complicated. Okay, we've got our blueprints here with the door in there. And pretty got it pretty chopped up. So let's go over here to the account and see how this is organized. So you don't have to go into the builder every time just to view some drawings. Okay. If you'll notice um, that the UI here for the account managers is really cleaned up compared to the first modules that um, demonstration that I released. So we'll go in here. We got the drawings um, button here. So click on that. Okay, here's your projects manager, manager drawings. If you'll notice, these are all the projects that I've got created uh, for you. So the most recent one that was created, and it's got a pager up here. You can set the page size to up to 98 projects at a time, uh, 100 projects at a time if you really need be to pull that many results. Um, so here's the shop drawing that we just created, shop drawings demo project. That's the location that we set, 123 Shop Drawing Street, Shop City, Texas. It's got one elevation, that's correct. If you'll notice this, it's really handy. We only created one elevation. The brand that we chose was US Aluminum for this particular shop drawing. And um, for contact information for this project, you're going to want to contact shop drawing at example.com and this phone number that you've provided. Okay? And this collaborate is another module that I'm releasing at the same time with this blueprints module we're not currently collaborating with anybody on this project but you can view that next module uh, to get an idea of how collaboration works which is which is really nice so we'll load this one elevation up we've got it right over here this is the projects area you choose the elevations for that project it will load all of them into this drawings box I've got a um, another project over here that's got quite a few elevations in it just to show you you could have as many projects as you want with as many elevations as you want as you can see over here and if you'll notice that this one has 10 elevations and it tells you this one has one door this elevation has three doors, this elevation has two doors, and this elevation has no door, so there's no door button there at all to click. So we'll go right back over here and look at the one that we just built. We'll load that elevation back up. We've got one door, that's correct. Let's look at it. Now we didn't have to build this. Somebody that worked for us could have built this, and we're just looking at their work. So um, that looks exactly like the same elevation that we built just a second ago and uh, let's look at the door so we'll just, now we've got just a single door um, schedule here to view so let's go ahead and uh, see what happens when we press this print button we're going to want to print these elevations out now when we press this print button for this elevation it's going to return a new window with the elevation in print format ready to go for you. Okay. So there it is. It's the famous upside uh, or sideways. We've got our elevation, then we've got our door. The way that I've formatted the shop drawings to be printed out is that a typical shop drawing like this should be able to be printed out on one legal size paper and this the door schedule would would follow in correctly with that okay you can just right click on that and get ready for print so here's the print view and there we go we're ready to go you can go ahead and choose your printer and print it out or do whatever you want to do with it at this point so let's see what that email looks like so I'm going to go ahead and email this to me Okay, it says shop drawings sent to your email on file. Let's see if it's telling the truth or not.
Oh, okay, look at there. Well, it did send it to us, so let's open that up and see what it says. Before the um, production release of the aluminum storefront builder is, I will have a um, a place in there for you to when you email it, you can email it automatically to yourself, or you can choose someone else to email it to. So let's see what this looks like inside of our email here. We'll just click on that once. There's that same elevation that we built for the shop drawings. Let's put this on the desktop here and see what it looks like when we open it up like that. So we'll go ahead and open up this shop drawing. So let's turn it so we can look at it. There we go. So now we've emailed this shop drawing to ourselves that we built in just a matter of minutes basically I mean it was built fairly quickly and sent organized and sent to your email uh, it's about as quick as you can press the buttons to do it so well let's close out of that and review um, one other thing about the projects okay so if we can get the, get the projects down to Put eight per. We'll just choose the minimum, choose five per page. What we can do here, we've got a filter over here for the projects. If you notice that our project had a name, had a location, it had uh, you know the contact information. Typically, some of these these glazing companies have hundreds of projects going over a period of time if they're using the program at least a year or so I'm sure they've got quite a few so I've got a filter um, feature in here we're gonna filter out all the projects by name so we'll take this project name right here and just put it right up in there and filter that out a little bit more interesting here and remove the filter okay so we've got all of our projects loaded at this point in there. So we only want to find the one with that name. And there we go. Pulled it right out fairly quickly. And um, the project manager here for this project, his phone number is um, this right here. So we'll do it by the phone number this time. Filter it out by the phone number. And I've used this phone number more than once, obviously. Look at there. Okay. Um, we'll do it. Um, we'll search by city. Texas, so let's see what by state. And there we go. Pull them right out. Okay, so what we've got here, once again, we've got um, the project that we've created, the new project. We'll open it up. Shop drawings demo project. Notes for shop drawing. Any of these changes that are made are updated immediately on your shop drawings. The shop drawings are not saved as static files. When you press the drawings button or view blueprints or door drawing or door schedule button to view the drawings, they are uh, drawn um, dynamically on the server and then sent back to you wherever your location is at. So updates are all, everything is in real time. There's no static files, no PDFs, no, none of that stuff. Everything, everybody's looking at the same deal. So we'll open that up. And our one elevation that we got in there and it comes back perfectly just like it's supposed to do and then uh, we can look at our drawings again if we could forgot what they look like you can look at your door schedules from the builder you don't have to go to your account to look at those you can also print them from the builder page as well 
and you can email them to yourself as well. Well, all right. This has been the um, shop drawings, uh, door schedule, uh, and um, projects um, management demo module.